ఓకే యాగి కూడా అంటే యూజ్డ్ ఇన్ వేర్ ఇట్ ఈస్ యూజ్ యూజ్డ్ ఇన్ టీవీ రిసెప్షన్ యూజ్డ్ ఇన్ టీవీ రిసెప్షన్ ఓకే జనరలీ యాగి కూడా అంటే మెయిన్లీ కన్సిస్ట్ ఆఫ్ త్రీ పార్ట్ వెయిట్ ఎబిట్ వెయిట్ ఎబిట్ it mainly consists of three part one is a driven element and a reflector and director say antenna is oriented like this okay this is the reflector okay this is the reflector okay and this is the driven element in the middle one is driven element and then last one is director okay this is driven element driven element and this one is director okay so and again uh, the feeding will be given to driven element okay for this the feeding will be given from the transmitter okay from the transmitter or it may be receiver also no problem you can take it as receiver also so the feeding will be done at the driven element that means what yagi vida antenna can work as a both the transmitting as well as receiving okay that's okay so what happens but mostly we'll use it as a receiving antenna okay so this is driven element okay this is director then actually this is actually working as a antenna the driven element will work as a antenna once if you give the signal it will radiate the electromagnetic waves but when the waves comes here it will be reflected by the reflector that means what you will not get any electromagnetic waves here because this is simply reflecting the electromagnetic waves okay the wave is coming like this then finally it will go like this only and again okay as the wave comes here some waves comes here even the reflected wave also comes in this direction and again this will support the wave to go in a only in a particular direction so finally once what is the radiation pattern of this antenna it's it's something around like this okay something around like this okay so this is the radiation pattern of the yagi wood antenna now suppose sometime the radiation pattern may go like this like this also like this also radiation pattern may go because beam with is decreasing directivity is increasing that means what once if you have more director in this case only you are having only one director so directivity is less that is green color if you have more director okay if more director if more director is there okay that means what you have to put one more director here you can put any number of director you want more the director more the directivity more director element okay if you put more director element more the directivity more directivity then if it is having more directivity then beam width decreases then beam width decreases okay because my aim is when i am acting as a receiving antenna my aim is to get the receive signal from the particular direction to get the signal from the particular direction then my gain has to be i beam width can be as low as possible because the transmitting antenna say for example what i will do if some antenna is transmitting from here okay now i have to receive signal from this antenna now what i will do i will orient my antenna in such a way I, i am getting signal from this now how i will orient my receiving antenna simply i can orient like this okay if i orient my uh yagi wood antenna like this i can receive the signal from this transmitting antenna because transmitting antenna is having uh, uh, what field pattern like this then if i orient my antenna in such a way i can receive that uh, pattern because my direction my, now once if i orient like this what is my there my pattern my pattern will be like this so both are matching then finally i can receive the signal okay so in case of agi wood antenna mainly the main aim is to increase the directivity or to increase the gain okay so that uh, beam width will decrease there is no problem at all because if we are not getting signal properly that then we can change the direction because we precisely know from where the signal is coming okay from where the tv signal is coming because definitely the tv signal is transmitted by the government transmitter that will be present in some cities okay then uh, what my job is to simply orient my antenna towards the cities that's it then i will definitely receive the signal that's the idea of the yagi wood 
antenna okay so and again the length the length will differ by 5 percentage if it is having length say 10 10 cm and this uh, reflector will have 10.5 cm so 5 percentage okay 5 per there will be 5 percentage increase in the length then once if you go in this direction then there will be reduction in 5 percentage okay then this length will be 9.5 percentage okay so if i take uh, driven element length something then uh, then length of the reflector so length of the reflector is 5 percentage more than 5 percentage more than length of the driven element length of the driven element then length of the director length of the director is equal to 5 percentage less than the length of the driven element d means driven element uh, okay and this is director okay so you have to know this okay so then finally what is the radiation pattern uh, again the radiation pattern of this one is like unidirectional okay because it is radiating only in one direction or it will be receiving signal from a, only from one direction because if you orient your antenna in any other manner you will not receive the signal you have to properly orient your antenna towards the transmitter okay uh, that means what your uh, your uh, antenna radiation pattern has to match with the transmitting antenna radiation pattern then only you will receive the signal so this radiation pattern is called unidirectional radiation pattern or single beam radiation pattern okay this is called as unidirectional the radiation pattern is called as unidirectional unidirectional or single beam radiation pattern unidirectional or single beam single beam radiation pattern okay okay next we'll go for helical antenna okay i am not going in detail but only important point of view exam point of view i am discussing okay next one is helical antenna the main important thing about helical antenna is circular polarization it will produce circular polarized wave circular polarization okay circular polarization and it is used in satellite communication used in satellite communication satellite tracking used in satellite tracking okay satellite communication and then there are two mode of operation uh, generally the structure may go like this this is the example of uh, helical antenna okay then depending on what is the again c means circumference of the helix okay circumference circumference of the helix and again some other parameter is there what is the total length of the helix once if you make it as a straight line then you will get some other dimension okay some some other dimension okay and then what is the circumference of the helix then uh, what is the length between one helix to another helix okay this is simply circumference and from one helix to another helix that is called as length of the uh, length okay length between the one helix to another helix okay then based on this parameters okay sometime you may have a helix structure like this or sometime it may be very close to each other okay so once if it is very close to each other say for example uh, if it is very close to each other what will happen the distance between one rotation to another rotation is very very less okay sometime it may be like this also now somebody tell me if i make if i make the distance between the helix very very small what will happen finally now i am having some distance okay this is the distance between the helix now i have reduced still i make the distance between the helix as zero what will happen anybody it will look like a conductor is it not like a hollow conductor yes sir if i make distance between the helix as small as possible that means what they are touching with each other once if i make distance between the helix as small as possible then they will touch each other it will it will act as like a hollow conductor okay it will act as a hollow conductor that finally it will behave as a lambda by 2 dipole antenna simple antenna because finally it is becoming as a wire dipole antenna okay are you understanding what i am telling see i am having the helix if you try to reduce the distance between the helix that will become like this now if i try to increase the distance between the helix what will happen i am trying to increase the distance as high as possible once if you try to yes anybody what will happen wire sir 
yeah it's wire once if we try to increase that will become a wire okay wire but in this case once if we reduce once if we reduce uh, it will become a loop actually loop many loops touching with each other i will draw the line like this okay once if you try to reduce you will get many loops that is touching each other each other okay many loops okay many loops touching with each other that's finally this behavior is something similar to loop antenna something similar to loop antenna and then this behavior is something like uh, lambda by 2 dipole antenna okay dipole antenna okay because why i am telling once if you observe the radiation pattern of helical antenna under some limiting condition the radiation pattern will match with uh, both loop antenna or dipole antenna once if you vary your parameter in such a way then finally you may get the radiation pattern for loop antenna or you may get the radiation pattern for dipole antenna something like that okay under limiting condition okay then helical antenna is operated in two mode now you understood what is the extreme condition then once if you operate in some way such a way the dimensions are okay the length of l is less than lambda because you know what is operating frequency okay once if you know the operating frequency uh, if so there are two modes one is axial mode okay one is axial mode and, and another one is normal mode when it is axial mode the c is circumference is comparable to lambda c is comparable to lambda c means what circumference of the helix and lambda is operating wavelength if c and lambda is comparable comparable in the sense what c may be lambda or c may be equal to lambda by 2 something like that but or c may be greater than lambda also but if c is much much less than less than lambda then this is not comparable okay so you are in axial mode if c is almost equal to lambda once if c is comparable to lambda then you are operating at axial mode once if you operate at axial mode say for example um this is my helical antenna once if you operate at axial mode and I, you have chosen the dimension c in such a way that is comparable to wavelength of the operation because you know at what, what frequency you are operating once if you know the frequency you can calculate the wavelength once if you operate under this condition what will be the radiation pattern direction at which direction the radiation pattern will be okay the this will be the direction of radiation pattern okay see once if you are operating in axial mode your direction pattern will be along the axis of the helix this is axis of the helix okay your radiation pattern is along the axis of the helix that is the idea of the axial mode okay that is the idea of the axial mode finally your radiation pattern will go here only like this in this manner only because that is somewhat convincing because whenever you have a loop you try to apply the right hand rule once if you have a loop then definitely uh then based on the turnings whether you do right hand turning or left hand turning definitely your radiation pattern is going to be in the upward okay either upward or downward but downward you cannot go some uh, downward there may be some conductor then finally it will reflect the signal finally your signal will go up okay finally your uh, your signal will go in this direction okay this is the axial mode okay direction axial mode operation of the helical antenna okay in this because your signal is in this manner again satellite will be here then particularly this kind of operation is used for this kind of mode is used for satellite communication as the radiation pattern is matching with the satellite radiation pattern because this is going up upward to the okay upward and again it will have very high directivity once if you operate okay because uh, it is radiating only in one direction when you radiate only in particular direction definitely your directivity will be very very high then you can use it for satellite communication okay so what i am telling as it radiates in only one direction as it radiates radiates only in one direction only in one direction as it radiates only in one direction directivity is i okay directivity is i so used in so used in satellite communication so used in satellite communication so used in satellite communication that's the idea of the axial mode operation of the helical antenna helical antenna okay next one is normal mode 